Tell a friend to tell a friend that do it all haul is in. And we're back with another NBA 2K23 next gen build video. And today I have a special finesse finisher build for you guys. Not only can this build finish, this build will have an 84 three point shot. Nobody will expect this build to shoot the way that it can shoot. And you will have some good playmaking to go along with it. You can pass with this build. You will be able to get gold clamp breaker. So you already know what time it is when you when you have somebody on the perimeter that's trying to check you. You're just going to go by them. You have great speed on this build as well. So make sure you watch the video to the end so I can show you this masterpiece. We're going to shoot and guard position the hand of your choice and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But before I go any further, you already know what time it is. If you don't know, now you know. It's like button time. I need you guys to go down there and hit that like button. Get this video to 100 likes. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So with this build, as you can see, we are going six foot eight, right? 191 on the weight, 76 wingspan, built by the shape. Let's get into the build. We're gonna start with the finishing, and you already know if the build is a finesse finisher, you're gonna have to have some great layup. Okay, so we're gonna take that up to a 94. A 94 does give us um, Hall of Fame acrobat. You know, um, a lot of people they like that acrobat badge, and with this build. You are mainly a, I ain't gonna say a person that make layup, but you can dunk. Now, don't get it twisted, but you know, if you are somebody that like to do all those fancy layups and stuff like that, man, you can have fun with this build. For the close shot, we're gonna get that up to 85. Now, I love the fact that we got gold fast twitch on this build. So when you get at the rim, you will be able to go up really, really fast. For the driving, oh my bad. For the driving dunk, we do have that at 84. Of course, you already know 85 will change the name of the build, so we're gonna leave it at 84. And I have an 84 driving dunk on my prospect, and I dunk, I dunk crazy. You know, as long as you got this limited takeoff on silver, you got some contact dunks in there, man. You should be good, cause bronze posterizer ain't as bad as you may think it is. Okay, a lot of people they put emphasis on that posterizer, but it's really good on bronze, believe it or not. For the standing dunk, we're gonna take that to a 63. Um, I took it to a 63 because I had a few extra attribute upgrades, so I just put it on the standard dunk. So we do get 20 total uh, finishing badges, right? I would use limitless takeoff, slither posterizer. That would be 6, 13, 18. That would be uh, 23 with fast twitch on gold. That would be 28 with fearless. That would be 29 with rise up. And that would be... 33 with Acrobat on Hall of Fame. That's if you want to use on Hall of Fame. So technically you need about 13 badges, right? So we'll get a plus seven right there and we'll need about six more. Or you could court two badges in one category and that will help you out. But let's go ahead and get it to the green bean. Make your girl scream badge. This build does have an 84 three-point shot. Like I said, y'all know me, man. I don't clickbait. If I tell you I'm giving you something, that's what it's going to be. It's not going to be anything else, all right? For the mid-range shot, we're going to get that to a 69. And the free throw is a 60. As you can see, you do get um, 17 shooting badges on this build. Now, if you want to take something up, go ahead and take it up. Like the free throw. I always take the free throw to a 60 majority of the time, you know. And if you want more, I'm fine with that because some people think they need more, but... If you try 60 out, I promise you, you know, you'll leave it at 60. I think a 60 is just fine. I use the Step Curry um, free throw, and I shoot pretty good with that, you know. So if you want to take it up, go ahead and do that. But I would use Amp Claymore with this build, Slippery All Ball, Green Machine, Corner Specialist, and Catch and Shoot. I hate that Catch and Shoot is tier 3, but hey, it is what it is. But let's go ahead and get into the sauce. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody mama can see this video. And I need everybody mama to see the video, so do that for you. Yeah, boy, boy. Speed with ball, we're going to get that to a 77. You don't want to take it too high and change the name of the bill. For the ball handle, we got that at an 87. If you take it too high, it may change the name of the bill. So we left it at an 87, which I think is pretty good, man. To have gold clamp break on this bill, that's really, really uh, important. And quick first step on gold as well. For the pass accuracy, we do have a 74. And as you guys can see, we do get 20 of them things, man. You know what I'm talking about? So with those 20, you can mix and match your badges how you want to. Me, me personally, I would use Unpluggable, Handle for Days, Clamp Breaker, Throw in Needle Threader, Quick First Step. You know we're going to put that on go. Hyper Drive, um, Anchor Breaker, and everything else is pretty much icing on the cake. So it's totally up to you guys on what you want to do. Um, I like this build, man. I ain't going to lie. Like when I tell you guys... I wouldn't give you a bill that I wouldn't play on. I would play on this bill. I'm telling you that now, man. It would be really, really fun 
to go out there with this bill. And people won't expect this bill to have what it has, man. Look at the finishing and the shooting and the playmaking. So far, so good. Now, on the defense, that's a different story. You know, you still have some defense, but I couldn't get the defense as high as I wanted. That's the only thing that would kind of keep me from making it for myself, even though I like a challenge. You know, my prospect don't have great defense, you know, so I can't say that. I still would make this bill, you know, because you can do so many other things, and as long as you got some defense, I think you should be good. For the interior defense, though, we're going to take that to a 61. And as you can see, that does give us a couple of extra badges, and we want that. So that's why we did it. Um, for the perimeter defense, you can't get it to an 86, right? So this is the only thing I don't like. We could get it to an 81 without, um, you know, changing the name. And this 81 does give us an extra badge. I had that at 80, but 81 gives us an extra badge. So we're going to take that. Even though we only have an 80, we still get bronze clamp. So that's, that's okay. You know what I'm saying? For the steel, we're going to take that to an 82 because we can't get it to an 85. Now, if you guys found a way to get it to an 85 and 86 on the perimeter and the steel, let me know in the comments, man, because that would be crazy if you can. But I doubt it, though, you know, because I've created this bill uh, about three times, maybe three, like two or three times already, you know, a different height. So, hey, man, I already know you, you can't get it that high. But if you can, let me know. For the block, we're going to take that block to a 75. And that will give us anchor on this build, which is pretty good. We also get pogo, so you can block some shots with this build with that chase down artist on goal. For the rebounder, we're going to try to get more badges right now. So we're going to take the defensive rebound to a 74. And the offensive rebound is a 59. So technically, you still have a lot of defensive badges. You know, they're, they're bronze and silver or whatnot. But, you know, you still can make this work. Me personally, I would use rebound chaser, even though it's tier 3. Um, I probably would... I would try not to get it first. You know, I would go with clamps first and then, you know, work my way down to everything else. We'll try to use anchor, pogo, throw in glove, uh, chase down artist, interceptor. Um, and we also throw in that minutes or whatever. And that will kind of help us out on the perimeter. But look at the combination though 20, 17, 20, and 21. Not bad at all, man. You know, this build is rare. And shout out to my homie Z. I'm pretty sure you like this rare build, man. Z love those rare builds. Uh, for the speed, we do have an 85. Acceleration is an 80, which is pretty good. Uh, strength is a 45. Vert is a 75. And the rest is on stamina. Now let's get into these takeovers. So we have big lock. We got playmaking. We got sharpshooting. And we got finishing. So, of course, we're going to choose finishing. And um, you can choose whatever else you want to choose. That's totally up to you. Are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. We do have Shades of T-Mac, okay, OG, and Josh Giddy, all right, now 2K. And the build name is a finesse finisher. That's the build no matter here, man. Ciao!